Hello everyone, glad you're here for another daily devotion. Psalm 31 verse 24 says, Be strong and let your heart take courage, all who wait for the Lord. Well, we're doing a lot of waiting for the Lord, right? Uh, we'll be strong and take courage as we wait for the Lord. There's a lot of waiting, waiting for uh, jobs to be back to normal, waiting for um, things to uh, lock down to, to end. We're waiting for all kinds of things to go back to normal, see friends, go back to church, all of those kinds of things. Think about all the people in Scripture who waited. Think of Moses waiting to get God's people out of Egypt, and all of that time he waited to get them out of slavery. Think of Abraham and all the waiting he did as he waited on God's promise to give him um, a son, a son to build a generation as many as the stars in the sky. Think of Mary and Joseph and how they waited on God for the Messiah to come. Think of um, Simeon and how he was promised that he would see the Anointed One, the Messiah, the Savior, uh, before he died. And Jesus was presented at the temple and uh, just as Simeon was in his older age. The, uh, Isaiah 40, verse 28 and 31, also speaks about waiting on the Lord. The Lord is the everlasting God, it says, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. We faint and grow weary, right? We get tired of waiting, but the Lord does not get tired of waiting. His understanding is unsearchable. We can't always figure out what his plan is. They who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. We will renew our strength spiritually. We will be, uh, grow in our spiritual strength as we wait on the Lord. Think of all our ancestors who waited on the Lord. Think of those early European settlers in the United States. Many uh, German Lutherans who waited for years and years, decades, to get their own pastor because there weren't enough pastors and the pastors would um, circle around every month or two uh, to be able to preach or bring communion. Think of all those early settlers that waited on the Lord. Think of how those early settlers waited for running water, waited for a normal infrastructure that they were used to in Europe. Think of all those people who waited on the vaccine for the polio epidemic. Think of all those who waited on the Lord to receive um, some kind of solution, a vaccine for tuberculosis. We are not alone to be waiting on the Lord. So we're staying at home. We're sheltering in place. And I think as we are sheltering in place, we need to give thanks for all the things we can wait on the Lord for. All those things that God has provided for us. As we're waiting for the doors to reopen, as we're waiting for life to get back to normal, I think we need to give thanks to God that we're not sheltering in place because of a war. We're not sheltering in place because of a famine. We're not sheltering in place because of some kind of persecution. We are waiting on the Lord. And we can praise Him in the midst of things being a little uncomfortable, things being not like we're used to, but we wait on the Lord and we trust Him and we lean on him. Let's pray. Lord God, thank you for the reminder to wait on you. We're not the first ones to ever wait on your plan. Uh, give us patience. Give us your peace as we wait on you.